Hey everyone! Right, okay, so as promised, I am here to help you with little tips and tricks on wigs and what I do as the wig mistress uh, to help all the queens and uh, performers out there. Right, so I have been given this really dreaded tatty wig. Um, I won't mention uh, who gave it to me, but... Um, didn't say their name, did I? Um, so, um, yeah, so this wig, okay, it, it even feels rough, okay, um, it, it feels very dry, um, I don't know how it was styled before, but it just feels slightly odd. Right, so before you get started on a wig like this, uh, I do apologise if I keep on looking over there, but I've, I've got a view cam thing so I can see what I'm doing, but I shouldn't really be doing that. Um, I can't even get my fingers through it, it's so matted. So the first thing to do before you do anything is to give it a brush through, okay? So let me get my brush, one sec. Boom, I do like a powder brush, okay? Now, when, you, when, you, when you're gonna comb this through, okay? So just literally hold the hair and start from the bottom. Oh, sweetheart, what have you done? If you've had sex in this wig, I won't be happy. Or maybe I will be very happy. So, just start from the bottom. If you literally tug on it, you may rip the lace. So be gentle with her. Okay, one week later, she is done. Oh my God, my thumb is killing me. She was matted, something chronic. Um, right, so she's all brushed through. She's still very, very dry. Now, the brief that I've been given is this. So, this big volumized hair just isn't gonna work for that look. Um, as I said, she is dry and I don't think it's been washed well, I think since she's had her. So I, while it's nice weather outside, I'm going to uh, wash her, I'm gonna condition her and hang her out on the line. Now, let me talk about what to use when you're, there's, there's such a, a myth about this. So I've been hairdressing 23 years this year and I, I it's not about what you use, it's about how you use it. <laughs> so there's it. Um, people are saying that you need to use uh, washing up, uh, sorry, um, you need to use um, washing powder and, I don't know, fabric conditioner and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, shampoo, it foams up, so it's gonna remove the, the debris and the, the dust and the dirt and the hairspray, it's gonna remove all that. So, but don't scrub your wig, that's the biggest thing. I've actually known a queen to put their wig in the washing machine, what the, so, don't do that. Um, what I would suggest is use a mild shampoo, um, work on a downward motion where the hair falls. Don't, don't go rah, crazy crazy, because you're just gonna mat it, no matter if you use washing powder or what it is. If you're doing that with wet uh, fiber hair, it's gonna mat. So, um, just use a cheap shampoo, D just make sure it's gentle, um, and then, um, and then condition it. Now the conditioner isn't going to condition the way it does human hair, but it does make it softer. So as long as you keep on getting that conditioner out of the hair in a downward motion when she's um, when she's under the shower, you'll be fine. And then hang her out to dry. Never comb a wig, well, a synthetic wig. Oops, that's my dog. Uh, never comb a synthetic wig or brush it when it's wet because, oh my God, you will just, you will create mats, you will not get out, don't really, don't even bother. So uh, hang her out to dry, uh, or hang her in your bathroom, let her dry completely, then work with her once she's dry. Guys, I'm gonna get washing because uh, I've got another five wigs I need to get out today. Um, so um, yeah, I shall um, see you when she's all dry. See you soon, bye bye bye. Hey, right, okay, so I am back, and she is feeling so much softer, guys. Oh, yes, like a big cloud. So, um, 
Like I said, I uh, shampooed and conditioned her, very gently walk working in a downward motion so I didn't kind of like mess it up. Now they decide to drill outside. So uh, please ignore the drilling, but it's too hot to have the door shut. So, um, right, so uh, she was hung out on the line. Um, we've got great weather here in the UK, so it didn't take long to dry. So the next step is to get the style that we are looking for, um, we are going to need to steam her. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about as well. So steaming. With hairdressing, you've got a hair dryer, you've got a brush. With wig work, you've got a steamer and you've got a brush, okay? Same technique, different tools. And um, usually with hairdressing, you would go into a hot cross bun, they call it. So it's like right down the center, so center parting right down to the nape and then ear to ear. With wig work, I'd recommend going into a three. So you've got ear to ear and then none in the back. So you're, you're gonna be working the whole back section as a whole, okay? So pretend she has an ear, use your finger and just go down. Just pretend that knot isn't there and you will move that out of the way. So I've got, these clamps are really good, okay? Just clamp her there, so just clamp her out of the way there, okay? And then you go to the next one, pretend there's an ear, pretend there's an ear, pretend there's an ear. And clamp that out of the way, done. Right, so what you're left with, oh, she's all caught up in the, Thing and everything now um, is the whole back area okay so uh, the front area is there so her, your face would be here that's taken out side to side and then you've got the whole back area okay so next step is plug your steamer in okay so I got this baby I got this from a charity shop for 10 pounds which is really good it takes a couple of minutes for it to heat up but what I need you to do, you can use a handheld steamer as well. Don't feel like you've got to go out and buy this massive, like, industrial thing. Um, and she's pinned all the way around. But you're going to, it doesn't have to be a perfect section. It's not like you're doing highlights or anything like that. So just take out an area. Let's call it an area rather than a section. All right, guys? So we clip that out the way. Try and clip it into the, the base cap if you can. And then just quickly, like yesterday. Ooh, I've given it away. It's not the same day. It's not the same day. It's the day after. Oh shit, I'm in trouble now. Oh, sue me. Right. Oh, bitch is busy. Right, let the steaming take place. Oh, now it decides to reheat. Right, okay, give it a sec. La da da, da 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 da. Okay, so, always have the hair in between the hair and the brush, uh, the brush and the steamer, yeah? And work down. And work down. It down, you'll start seeing it go straight. Look at that. Isn't that cool? If you go through a knot like that, and then you were to let go, it will bounce back up into kind of like a, a curly frizzy thing. Oh, power's gone. Why did that trip? Oh, my power's just gone. Hold on. See? Really nice and straight. When she dries, she'll be beautiful. When she's wet and straight, she looks a bit unfinished. You wouldn't be really happy with it, but just allow it to dry because it changes completely. Okay, so I am back. She's all dry, like I said. 
really nice weather outside. I just put her out like this and she's dried really quickly. So let's talk about ponytail, okay? So um, there's a couple of little tricks um, that I will suggest to you. Uh, the first part is again section um, ear, like across down to ear each way. It just helps you out in the long run and I will explain why. Um, actually, actually no. Right, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, let's get that out of the way. And get that part out of the way. Right, so I've sectioned the front area that I'm leaving down, as you see on the picture again. But she has her hair all back on the top. So, make sure I'm in focus. Let's get that out of the way first. Let me talk you through what I've done. Get her off the weak block. This section here is going to have partings about here. She's going to have hair coming down that side, a bit of hair coming down that side. These bits here that I've just done, I'm putting them up afterwards. So I'm going to create the ponytail first, and then I'm going to use these to kind of disguise any areas. So it's nice and kind of like neat. And then we're going to start working up. So I'm going to change brush. I'm going to use this Denman. It's a brushing brush, brushing, dressing brush, or brushing brush. Oh, I've got a brushing brush, huh? You want a brushing brush? Come and see me. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get her done. Let's get her back. Okay, now on this, let me come close. Now I've been twisting this around and I've got this much less left. Now I'm not gonna be able to get that hair through that, it's not gonna happen. So let me show you a trick. Don't fall down. Okay, so some people call these bobby pins. I hate that word bobby, it's horrible. Get your Bobby pin. Put it in there and twist that around, okay? So you can twist it and twist it and twist it around. I wish I could go closer, guys, but I've only got one pair of hands. You see that? So I've twisted that around the top of that. That's made that nice and tight, and then I'm going to fold it inwards. So I'm going to go in to that ponytail. Let me just get in. So I'm going to go in that way. And then I'm going to forward it through that way. Okay, so that's made that really nice and tight now. And then you get another one. And you cross over that, okay? So I'm so sorry, I keep on looking at the screen and not on you guys. Ugh. Okay, so that, that's pretty high. Hello. That's better. Right, so she's got her high pony. Now I will be setting this, but be, if you set it in the way she is now, her pony, the ponytail will drop down. So I'm gonna have to kind of like lean her over. So I wedge her against something and then set. Right, let's get to this bit. Right, okay, so it's not all perfect, perfect yet. So let me just put this into a bun. I've got nothing here. Where are all my clips gone? One second, I'm so distant. Right. Put her into a bun so that she's out of the way. Like that. Doesn't have to be neat, it's only to get her out of the way. And then you've got these sides, right? So. Uh, one again, I think. A little bit of that brush through. And now, rather than going straight back, See, this is going to bump up that ponytail as well. We're going to be going underneath the ponytail. Okay. So the ponytail's here. Let me just go back. Nice. 
Then you're going to go underneath her, making sure she's all nice and tight, because she likes it tight. Get some spray on her. Great stuff. Schwarzkopf got to be really good. It's called glue. And then you're going to wrap, but twist. So twist around slightly. Wrap it around that pony. Get a grip. Get a grip. Yes, get a grip. And you're gonna go through that twisty bit that you've just done. You're gonna go through that and you're gonna attach her to the base. And keep her nice and nice and solid. You're gonna have little bits here and stuff. This is, this is why you need a bigger head block. If you were to do this on a smaller head block and your head was bigger than the head block, babe, you wouldn't get it on. And if you did, it wouldn't stay on. Nope, nope, nope. Again, we're just going to clip her underneath. You won't see the underneath unless bitch is swinging it around, which, nope, I know what she's like on stage and she don't do that. So you're going to clip her in. She's clipped in, she's done, and now you're going to move on to the other one. So you can understand what stage. Oh, it feels weird. Right, okay, so I'm going to be setting her now, but, um, this is going to really annoy my clients, so I'm going to lightly back comb this out of the way. Guys, do it from behind, do not do it from the front because it will just look a mess. Yeah, so that's better. Out of the way a little bit. Needs a little bit of roughage. I like a bit of rough. So, what are we gonna do? Right, so we're gonna do the curl slightly differently in the front, okay? So you're gonna start from the top, keep your fingers really tight towards the roller and twist round, okay? So it's almost like a, a tube of hair. And we're gonna do that again. Up to the top, and down. There we go. Again. George! He's ruining my display. Stop it! I've got to pretend I'm in a studio. People seen on my dining table which I never use, I might as well get rid of it. I don't use it. And then the side. This is gonna be so cute on her. She's a young queen as well, so it's like, she's gonna be quite cutesy. Cutie. Right, okay. Hey everyone, right, okay, she is done. I got the approval as well from my client, which I always ask for. Um, so we have got a big ponytail here. Absolutely stunning. And da 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 da. She's been crystalled. So I put a massive glitter panel here, and I've got a glitter panel going underneath here. I've actually decided to lift this up and have it kind of like this. Um, I, I was speaking to my client and she's all for it. She has got loads of Schwoski crystals on there as well. Bitch, she's done. <laughs>